So big news out today about Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's former lawyer slash fixer. Um, and that is that Cohen allegedly paid an IT firm uh, run by somebody from Liberty University, the Falwell organization, uh, to skew and rig online polling in order to favor Donald Trump. Here's what happened. Um, according to the reports here and the documents, everything that's been disclosed, including the guy who worked at the IT firm who came forward with all of this because he's mad he didn't get paid the 50,000 he was owed. Um, in 2014, Cohen reached out to him and said, hey, there's this CNBC online poll that is trying to get people to tell the 100 best business leaders in the United States. And I want Donald Trump to be on this list. I want him to be number one. Well, the guy at the IT firm writes this algorithm that is supposed to just repeatedly vote for Donald Trump in this online poll to help rig it and put Donald Trump at the top. Here's what's funny is that this guy who was supposed to get paid 50,000 for this and the other poll, uh, wasn't even able to get Donald Trump into the top 100. He didn't even make it even after cheating. Then later on, February, 2015, there was a drudge report online poll asking Republicans who they want to see as their uh, candidate slash nominee for the 2016 election. Cohen did the same thing. Hey, you did such a bang up job getting Trump in the top 100 for CNBC, which he didn't actually do. He failed to do. Uh, so how about you rig this online poll? So it shows that everybody wants Donald Trump to run for president. Guy does the same thing. Uh, and Trump, I think makes it to number five. Couldn't even crack number one still, even after cheating. But the reason all of this is coming to light is because the IT guy who did all this did not get paid the full 50,000 that Cohen promised him. Instead, and I have to read this, um, Cohen reportedly handed him a blue Walmart bag containing between 12,000 and 13,000 in cash and randomly a boxing glove that Mr. Cohen said had been worn by a Brazilian mixed martial arts fighter. So the dude gets a Walmart bag filled with cash and a used boxing glove that may or may not have been used by some MMA fighter in another country, possibly if Cohen is to be believed. But that's not even the weirdest part of the story. Here's the weirdest part. And that is that Michael Cohen paid this guy, in addition to trying to rig the two online polls, which he failed to do, he paid him to set up a Twitter account, Women for Cohen, that was designed, its purpose was to just tout the sexual prowess of Michael Cohen. I wish I didn't have to say those words. I wish this were parody, but it is not. As part of the deal, like you rig this poll, you rig this poll. Could you also just create a Twitter account that says I'm a stud in bed? That would be badass, right? That is what Michael Cohen did. That is a thing that happened. And it also raises some very serious legal questions because as we know, Michael Cohen got reimbursed by the Trump organization to the tune of $50,000 for IT work. And this all comes full circle. Yes, it is tied back to Donald Trump because they gave him the full 50,000. He didn't pay out the full 50,000, uh, which to be honest, the guy didn't deliver what he was supposed to deliver. You probably could have renegotiated at that point, but instead Cohen pockets the money. Trump paid him the money that he pocketed. He stiffs the other guy. So in a lot of ways, he's become like a little Donald Trump junior, junior at this point. But either way, this is bad for Trump. This is bad for Michael Cohen. Um, and it shows that there were no links that Michael Cohen was not willing to go to in order to help Donald Trump win the presidency. That's the key takeaway. Michael Cohen was willing to do whatever it took, even if it was shady, possibly even if it were illegal. And that tells us a lot more about what Cohen may have known and may have told to the special prosecutor's office.